In continuation of this month's coffee cup prompt, making paper, I would like to make some fabric paper that is more unique to me. Instead of using a napkin or some kind of pre-printed tissue paper for the design, I want to create the design by melding together different pieces of tissue paper I, that's me, Peggy, at Two Old Crows Mixed Media, has created. To get started, I have chosen muslin fabric and I am just pulling out about 12 inches and cutting. And I'm gonna create about three pieces of fabric out of this one swatch. This is probably 45 inches wide. I purchased it at the fabric store. Just plain old white, very lightweight muslin material. So I'm cutting, not paying attention to seams or straightness, just getting some fabric that I can work on. So now I have three pieces of fabric and I'm going to create three pieces of fabric paper. I'll lay this muslin out. Um, well, first, <laughs> let's get our tissue paper into some workable sizes because I'm gonna use my gel press. So I've laid the muslin out on a piece of deli paper. This deli paper is waxed on both sides. You can use wax paper, anything that will prevent the glue from sticking is all you need. Freezer paper, wax paper, I'm using deli sheets. I've laid the muslin out and I'm covering it with a thick coat or a you know, pretty good coat of a mixture of Elmer's glue or PVA glue, kids glue and water made it pretty, pretty liquid. And I have gone over it with four pieces or four layers of plain white tissue paper. And we're getting, you know, close to the end of that. So I want to firm up my corners. So I'm, I'm going back and really making sure that I have each corner pretty secure with the layers of tissue paper. And I haven't been, I, I've just been tearing tissue paper. I haven't been paying attention to the size where I have a corner. I'll stick it in the corner. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason that I have taken to do this. Once I get everything down, I am going to set this aside and work on the tissue paper that I am going to utilize to decorate. So once again, I'm pulling out just a sheet of plain old white thin tissue paper and I'm going to tear it down into workable sizes so I can get it on my gel press and have just little individual images, if you will that I will be printing and then utilizing to decorate what substrate we just created. I have chosen a Payne's Gray and I am just going to do some mark making on my gel press and then I'll use the tissue paper to pick up that mark off the press. Just tapping it lightly to make sure everything has connected. And there we go. We have our first mark. I'll set that aside and allow that to dry. And I'm going to continue with making some additional marks.
now that all of the marks have been set aside and the paint is dry, I'm pulling those sheets of tissue paper back and just gluing them to the substrate of the four layers of tissue paper that we put down before on the back of this muslin fabric. Through the wind I give in I'm storming, breaking like the tide Every time A bit dizzy I close my eyes I feel the fizzy I'm standing away All of my individual marks have been laid down. Everything is adhered. It's dried just a little bit, just enough to the touch that I can come back in with this gold paint pen and just create some additional interest by adding some gold. I do notice in this video or in the voiceover of this video that I forgot to do that upper right uh, circle with a little gold accent, but I do go back and fix that after the filming. So now I'm just going to peel it off that deli sheet and take it out and hang it to dry. The second piece that I'm doing, I had these two poles that I've hung on to forever that I just happen to like. They're on rice paper, and I thought I'm going to try the rice paper on top of this tissue paper. I've just laid that down over the top 
glued it into place. Then I did some additional mark making with the circles. Those circles are representational of one breath. So if you breathe in and exhale as you draw that circle, that circle is ends at the end of one breath. I did a bunch of those in gold to put over the top of this sheet. So we'll get that glued down and we'll, I'm not going to include the footage of me drawing those gold circles. You saw me draw plenty of them in the Payne's Gray in the previous selection. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll adhere them to the top of this before I take it out to dry. This is the napkin that I laid down. Uh, you know, I told you at the beginning that um, I wanted this to be individual. I started with a napkin and I thought that doesn't really <laughs> represent anything that I do. I am going to keep it. I'll probably make a little pouch out of it. Here is how the mark making turned out and the rice paper. And I think you can tell by the sound. It's pretty darn sturdy paper. So once everything is dry, I'm just going to trim up the edges. When I get ready to use this, I think I'm going to make a few pouches out of this fabric paper. I'll trim it up very neatly, probably put it on my fiskers, cut the lines very straight, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. So I just want to cut around and trim up the outside edges. So here's the paper that we made today in a short 15 minute clip. I hope you stayed with me. And if you do, please hop on over to my Facebook group, follow along with the coffee cup prompts and show me in that group what kind of paper you make. If you choose to use napkins, if you choose to use your own prints, if you choose just to do tissue paper in different colors and, and collage on there. Just play, have fun. I hope you enjoy and in the next few weeks I'll be doing something with these sheets and I'll share. Here's the coffee cup prompt playlist. Bye for now.